Y'all, no joke, I have made this video like six times. Six? Six times. This is the last time. <laughs> um, but hey, y'all, I wanted to do a little update um, on me and my life and my career in this channel and where this channel is going over the next few months. So, um, first thing is that I have been super duper busy with my photography business. I started a photography business um, maybe like a year, almost a year ago, and it has just grown and flourished and has just been so amazing and so wonderful and such a blessing and such an answer prayer for me. Um, I have been taking photos and, you know, doing photography for uh, family and friends and church members for uh, several years, but I haven't really, um, I never really did it for money or, you know, marketed myself or anything like that because I just didn't have the time. I worked a full-time job in the dental um in the dental field where I went to school for. And so I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pursue that. And it was always a dream of mine. And I always knew one day that it was something I wanted to try. And if, you know, if it didn't work out, it didn't work out. So when I started this out, I had lots of dreams and hopes, but, um, didn't know where it would go. But I will say that at a year, uh, it is, just been crazy. It's been amazing. And I have grown from, you know, 500 people liking my Facebook page to 5,000. And 5,000 people to like your Facebook page, that's a lot. That's a lot of exposure for you. And unfortunately, um, 50%, I would say, of, of your successful of a photography business is putting yourself out there and you know in this day and age social media allows you to do that very adamantly um, unfortunately it kind of puts you in a like an age jo genre um, capable like limit it limits you um, age wise of who you kind of market to um, but anyway if you know what I'm trying to say, like social media is in socially social things is great for the younger crowd, but as a photographer, you want to be appealing to all ages. So um, it's hard marketing yourself and marketing your business is very hard. So you have to kind of balance the things. So um, I do do a lot of social media contests and um, just put myself on different pages and enter things and. Um, you know, but most of all, I market myself through my pictures. And so, um, I kind of wanted to do a series on here of how to start a, um, photography business and how to market yourself to be successful. Mama, um, most people that start a photography business, uh, their main problem is they may take a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, amazing picture, but they they just, nobody can see it. Like, nobody sees it. And just see the client seeing it, even though your client is happy, it doesn't grow your business. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm for sure going to do a series on here about growing and maintaining a successful photography business. Um, of course, above all of that, you need to have complete knowledge of your camera, complete knowledge of the capabilities of your lenses and your camera, um, complete knowledge of, of Photoshop or whatever, Lightroom, whatever you choose. Um, you need to have immense knowledge about those things um, to be able to aid you in in this, this process. Um, you can take in a beautiful picture, but you can take that beautiful picture and do the right things to it, and it is art. It is amazing. So, um, anyway, I think that inspired me not only to make that series on here, but it also inspired me to um, start putting myself out there more um, on YouTube and my family more and documenting more. And uh, I've decided that at least a couple of days a week, I'm going to do a day in the life video. Um, I want to do some cooking videos because cooking is my passion. Um, 
aside from photography, I have a lot of passions and a lot of, of adventures um, that I do. I also want to do some gardening videos because um, we do a pretty big garden every year and we just started. So I want to do some gardening videos. Um, and I just, I just want, I just want to put myself out there, and I just want to create things um, here on YouTube that are interesting and fun, and show how fun my little family is because we're pretty fun, um, and we're pretty awesome. You know, I didn't have to say so myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think we're pretty awesome. You can let me know whether you think we're pretty awesome, but. Um, but yeah, so that's my little update. Um, I've been busy with photography and I am going to start putting things back on YouTube. Uh, we aren't having any more kids, so there won't be any babies coming. I will be able to share uh, with parents' permission some of my newborns that I photograph. I will be making some little um, how-to uh, videos on, um, on this of like, kind of the process of my newborn sessions. Uh, so I am going to do that. I, I have already have a couple scheduled that I have asked if I could film during so that you guys could see, you know, what kind of went on during a newborn session, like behind the scenes. It's kind of boring because you're just quiet and soothing a baby and posing them. But, um, you know, edited correctly, uh, it would get the point across to show you. But... Anyways, um, yeah, so that's what's going on. And this number, y'all, have you ever had a person that, I guess they got your number, I don't even know how they got my number, uh, but they, but it's now a kid's phone, and so they are something, and so they're always playing with it, and then they, they either butt dial you or they dial your number by accident. That's what happens with, and I've like text them and call them and tried to say like, don't call me. Like you have this number is in your phone incorrectly, and it's it's a kid's phone because no adult ever answers. But anyways, um, so yeah, so that's what's going on. That is what I want you to stay tuned for. Um, if you have any requests for a video, if you have any anything that you want to tell me or ask me, um, I am open to doing a Q and A video uh, pretty soon. Um, I've had a lot of questions that I've saved, like, over the past six months um, about um, just various things, like the egg donor cycle that I did, and um, just about the family in general, and some questions that I got, like, on a C-section video that I did, um, just some things like that that I have saved for a Q&A video, but if you have any specific questions that you want me to answer, um, leave those below, and... Um, I would enjoy any feedback that you want to give me about uh, the photography videos. Um, I know that that is um, very specific, uh, something specific that only certain people want to see, but it is something that I enjoy. So um, I hope every <coughs> I hope everyone doesn't choke to death like me, but. I hope everyone has an awesome Thursday. Um, I am getting ready to go to a senior session, um, a, a high school senior session. And here in Texas, it has been the stupidest weather I have ever had in the spring in my life. I mean, it has rained buckets and buckets and buckets of rain. And the ground is just soggy in every single location that I have, like amazing, interesting location that I have is flooded and so I'm having to like pick new ones and like kind of change of what I normally would use for um for sessions and or I'm just telling them to wear rain boots and then just photographing the top half of them so uh anyways so that's what I'm doing what I'm doing for the rest of the today um but I wanted to kind of say what's up and you know give y'all some info so um, here's my crazy Edison, <laughs> who is supposed to be laying down for a nap, but he's not listening. And that is not nice, is it? So, Edison, tell everyone bye. Bye. Say, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>